Citizens of the Republic, welcome back to another reaction review, The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 4. We're here again at the Galactic Core desk. Mark, are you excited for this episode? I'm very excited because, I mean, that three-episode premiere was great. I definitely see why it was three episodes. Build up a lot. I'm I'm really excited to see, honestly, how this whole season unfolds, but mm -hmm. I am very excited for this week's episode. So am I, and before we get into it, I have a few things that I want to bring up. A couple things, that, like, coming from uh, the previous episodes and uh, something that I just found out and didn't know. So, one thing I want to address, <laughs> the, the Lurka Hound that, that Crosshair and Omega have now. Yeah. Her name is Batcher. Oh, bad. I, th I think I think in the rec in the the video from uh, from the episode three video, I think I only said it once, but I kept I was saying it in Omega's accent, and I don't know why, but <laughs> it's Batcher, so I will not be saying it Batcher. in Omega's accent anymore. Okay. Um, second thing, the the guy that we saw in episode two, the the dude that we knew from oh yeah previously in bad batch he is in season 1 the episode's called infested it's season 1 episode 14 i think and it's it's seen as like one of the filler episodes people were saying obviously not now because he comes back in a later season and it yep. turns out in their favor so it's essentially the guy that takes over sid's bar and he's like smuggling yes. spice for the pipes. Yes, I remember that episode. And they they go through the tunnels on like the the rail car mm -hmm. to get rid of the spice. So, yep. essentially, what happens is the pikes take his horn. Yep. And the entire episode, Sid is saying like, "Don't you don't want to mess with the pikes? You don't want to mess with the pikes." And that's in episode two. That's when they were talking about uh, Durand. She was saying, obviously, you're desperate if you're doing something against the Pikes. Yeah. And that just, I mean, that was like a full circle moment there. I thought that was super cool. So, and they ended up being nice to that dude at the end of that episode. So that's why it actually, you know, comes full circle in episode two of season three. So yeah. I thought that was cool. I knew, I knew him was from Bad Batch. I just needed to go back and and see it um yeah i remember the i remember his horn like you know being cut off i just couldn't remember that episode itself yeah. and the last thing i wanted to bring up emery the the clone doctor her voice actor let, hold on i actually i just looked her up i need i need to get the name correct keisha castle hughes her voice actor, do you know in Revenge of the Sith, the queen of Naboo? Okay. In that movie, that's her. The that's voice her? actor for Emery. That's insane. Dude, <laughs> I, it's, I just, it's, like... it's so funny. It, everybody in Star Wars, I swear, it just comes full circle. They yeah, do one character, it's so weird. And they just so, come back and do another one. Yeah, so you you see her at like Padme's funeral and and stuff. So that's yeah. I don't know. I just I saw that said the other day, and I just thought it was the craziest thing. So <laughs> it's hilarious, man. It happens all the time. <sighs> all right. Well, let's go ahead and get into season three, episode four of the Bad Batch. Also, I I brought up like the thing with the pikes. That was said again at the start of the season. Like don't like you cross the pikes. Maybe mm. that comes up at some point in this season, like something with the pikes. I could, could see that happening. Oh, this place looks really welp welcoming. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> A whole bunch of spiky mountains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Music instantly turns evil as soon as we get back to Hemlock. <laughs> <laughs> False positives are to be expected. That result is nothing but an aberration, like the cl 
Stone for Zoe. We shall see. Wait! We can't walk around like this. We'll draw too much attention. You're the one who wanted to bring the hound. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to him. Oh, convenient. And people drying their entire outfits all together in one. <laughs> <laughs> Crosshair looks kind of nice in that. Yeah. They're going to have to go through some sort of security to get to the spaceport, I bet. Yep, it's just never that easy. Nope, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Probably need an identification number or something. Yep. I can take out at least half before they know what's happening. What? <laughs> that was kind of cold. That was really cold. Problem for us could be an opportunity for you if, say, you knew of an alternate way of booking passage without a chain code. Then that could be arranged for 15,000 credits. For two tickets? Per ticket. And it's non negotiable. You're oh, not nice. charging extra for the creature. You go with the side quest. Yep, you gotta get the credits. <laughs> Thirty thousand. That's insane. Stow it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna gamble or something? I think I know how we can make some fast credits. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's putting it on a on a billion dollar parlay. Parlay. <laughs> 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 One billion credit parlay. <laughs> That's your plan. You want to hustle someone? I've done it before. And I prefer to think of it as I'll take those credits. Oh gosh. <laughs> I guess I mean... Well, I guess we'll be in more trouble. Is she she was hustling in season one. She was. Well, actually, Sid was doing well, teaching hustling. her, <laughs> teaching her how to hustle. Getting crossed here. <laughs> of course. Yeah. How about one more game? Yep. <laughs> Our luck has to run out eventually. Uh oh. Look at this dude. <laughs> here we go. That shuttle looks like one of ours. Yeah, we better check it out. These dudes aren't even looking for it. They just found it on a they patrol. Just, of yeah, course. they just stumble upon it and they're like, huh. This looks oddly familiar. Looks like the captain is heading towards a victory. I don't know what's going on, but. <laughs> yep. The three Eastern stars. That is game over. What a play. What a play. Okay. I knew I, that was the only way she was going to win with the three Eastern stars. <laughs> Gambling's illegal in these parts. Mm. What? The law's the law. Now all I've got to do is pay the fine, and I'll be on my way. How much? 10,000 credits. Jeez. You prefer to be arrested. How many credits do we have left? 35,000. Enough for two tickets on the shuttle and a little extra. Dang, she won that much? Oh my god. 35,000. Yeah, that was that, that play was crazy. Yeah. The I mean, you Eastern you said stars. that was that was the only thing she could do. Yeah, if she didn't have that, it was going to be a loss, so. <laughs> Oi. You looking for that hound? You know what? Oh, she this is? sure would be. But the answer's going to cost you. 10,000 credits. <laughs> Why say we want 10,000 credits? Okay, okay. Fine. But that's my final offer. <laughs> Crosshairs want to beat them up. Oh, yeah. Crosshairs upset because everyone on this planet wants a billion credits to do anything. Yeah, that's, that's actually insane. Take the credits. If you want to go, then go. I'll find my own way.
the unavoidable side quests. Crosshair's changed, man. He yes. ever since he went through all that with Mayday, uh, mm-hmm. he's never he's never gonna be like he says he is. Nah. Shout out to Mayday. Mm-hmm. Do this your way, but my <laughs> skills are Don't. being wasted. Noted. <laughs> Don't leave the credits there. They're gonna get stolen. I just know it. Okay, thank well, you. At the same time, being here, they could leave on a cargo ship instead of... True. At the spaceport. That is true. But who knows where these... Th- <laughs> That's the <laughs> They could be thing. taking the Lurka Hounds back to Mount Tantus. <laughs> that is true. That's You don't know where they're going. Probably going to open all of them, I'd assume. Yeah. I mean, that's you, you got to make all that chaos. Exactly. How about you give me all my money back? <laughs> Credits won't do you any good when Hemlock shows up. Let's try things your way. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Here Here it is. is. Yep. Oh my god, what, what are, are those things? things? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh god, god, what is what this? Is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, horrible way to go. <laughs> horrible way to go. Stealing a cargo ship. I mean, yeah, oh, look no. at that thing. He <laughs> <laughs> went flying. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, stealing a whole cargo ship is pretty crazy. Jeez. And they're out and of here. And they still got the 30,000 credits, like you said, so. Yeah. And I sent a coded transmission for Hunter and Wrecker to meet us there. Probably Pabu. It's gotta be. Or not. It's actually smart they don't meet there because then they would track the ship there. Yeah. And, you know, we can't have, you know, we can't be losing Dwayne the Rock Johnson either. Oh, wait. This is this place. Oh, my God. This is from inter- from season one, I think. Oh, my God. Is this above Ryloth? I don't know. Oh, it might be. It's one of those. Now there's a sight. Rickett. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even sure your message was real. <laughs> Across the galaxy four times looking for you. Five. But you're the one who found us. Where you at, Crosshair? How did you escape? I had help. You're joking. Wow. Oh my god. I had a feeling they're going to end it off right there. <sighs> they're cooking, All right. dude. Um, can it be next week or <laughs> <laughs> They're cooking. Oh my god. <sighs> I, dude. I knew this was like. I didn't know this was going to happen so fast. It did happen really fast, I and mean, we were four episodes in, and they were already together again, which means, well, I don't know what it means, actually. Yeah, I don't know what's like... going to happen in this season, to be honest. Yeah, now I really don't know, like, jeez, I mean, 
But I don't know. Crosshair is definitely going to probably work to get their trust back again. Um, I would assume. Yeah, I because the the last time that they saw each other was at the end of season one. Yeah. Wasn't even in season two. They never saw each other. So, and that's all that they know with Crosshair. Mm -hmm. And I think Crosshair is so broken mentally that he doesn't even realize who he actually is. Yeah, definitely. He definitely isn't the same person he was. Like, Crosshair is not loyal to the Empire anymore. No. But he feels like he is still that same person. Yeah. I get what you mean. Even though he's not, he still gives off that persona and tries to to be like that, but he just, he can't. Ever, Ever since May Day, he can never be like that ever again. Yeah, Mayday changed them. And it already shows with Omega. So, I'm wondering if... Because I, I feel like Hunter and Wrecker are going to have some hostility toward him. It Definitely. might be easier for Crosshair to go back to being like that and just like not even wanting to wanting anything to do with them yeah Yeah, i I wouldn't that's like something that could happen to me but i'm i don't know i think they're gonna like you said he's gonna like work to get their trust back or something i think crosshair just wants to be done yeah he he seems so just he's he's done with it at this point i mean but at the same time hunter and wrecker want to be done omega is the one that doesn't want to True. Like, once Omega tells them about Mount Tantus, they're... I mean, Hunter will go right along with it. Like, because it, it's... It, Omega's going to be like, we can't be done until we go do this. Literally what happened in this episode. Like, we can't leave unless we have Batcher. We can't be done until we go back to Mount Tantus and free everyone else. Yes. So That's exactly what it's going to be. That's what's going to happen. Whether they get Omega back and they also have to go get Omega again, whatever that happens, happens there. But you know for a fact, like, Omega's going to make it a point that they can't be done until they go back to Mount Tantus. Yeah. Um, so that's definitely what I'm expecting. But we'll see what the dynamic is with Hunter, Wrecker, and Crosshair. I don't know. I'm like, I mean, I'm going to be honest, just that what we just saw right there without them even saying a word to each other kind of broke me. Um, Mm -hmm. Like I, I kind of want to jump out the window right now. (laughs) That was a great moment. That was a phenomenal moment right there. Cause nothing needed, needed to be said, you know, the, the like wide shot of the two ships on both sides Oh, yeah. like dude and then of course dude. it's like you know how'd you get out of there and then of course here comes crosshair walking down and then mm-hmm. you definitely feel the hostility there yeah there, there was a lot of tension um well something that i did want to talk about because i've been seeing some things after the after the premiere and what some people have been saying and you know, there there was a whole lot of talk about Omega and the why they want her blood and whether she's force sensitive or not. Because obviously, I said in mine that I'm like, she better be force sensitive. Like, come on, <laughs> I've been saying it since, since season one. Yeah, yeah. But the 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 reason they want her blood is because it keeps the genetic m count when when it's cloned it keeps it at the same level or higher it doesn't go away, like it doesn't start to fade away that makes that makes sense Why they and 
her. So that her. doesn't necessarily mean that she's force sensitive. Now, that's what I've been hearing people say. They're like, like, and actually, she's not force sensitive. They just they just want the M count because she has the the right blood for it. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, okay, but that doesn't confirm that she isn't force sensitive. Well, we have, yeah, we have literally no idea. Yeah. And to me, to me, it's more likely that she is because why would she specifically have that trait if they weren't doing some sort of experiments to make her force sensitive? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, like they, Nala say knew that her blood would do that. Why would she know that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know. To me, it's, a weird it's more thing. likely it's a weird... that she's force sensitive. But I understand why people are saying she like like that isn't confirmation that she is. Well, no, there's we don't know yet. We have literally have no idea. So it's mm. that's what makes it so weird because it's like there's like you know a bunch of speculation. But obviously, I'm assuming we'll get an answer here. Within the mm-hmm. season, I would hope. <laughs> yeah. So I'm definitely interested to see kind of what the exact reasoning for that is, because like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate either way. I think both theories are good. I think they would both work. Yeah. Um. Especially with you know Sabine now being force sensitive, it's like, okay. Because it's like, well, anyone it, it, like, can use the force. You just have yeah. to. Yeah. You just, there's like a mix of like natural talent and, you know, anyone can learn. You just have to have that. Uh, Definitely makes it interesting too for a clone to be force sensitive. Like that's. Yeah. I'd definitely like to expand on that for sure. But. Because then there, there's around. like, like everything is about making a force sensitive clone. Mm hmm. Like Palpatine cloning himself, Moff so Gideon can, cloning himself. So then, you know, he can live for all eternity and yeah. rule over the galaxy forever. That's but the entire the point is. between both of them is to make a force sensitive clone. Moff yeah. Gideon was making his from the blood of someone that was force sensitive. Which is good. <laughs> Do you see why people would think that Omega is force sensitive? I mean, it makes sense. It makes <laughs> sense, right? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like you said, I mean, we're guaranteed going to find out why she even has this trait to begin with. Like, we're going we're gonna to learn from Nala Say at some point. Um, but I do like that the Bad Batch as a whole, the show as a whole, They, they're not focusing on Omega being force sensitive, you know. Yeah, no, it's a bigger like overarching. Yeah, like it's so much more of a story than just that, and it's really that isn't even part of the story. It's yeah, just no. I feel like it, that's just gonna be like something that is just like that's just how it is. Mm-hmm. And they it's were not kind of something that they're trying to find out throughout the whole thing. Yeah, and they were definitely doing that in season two, where they were like kind of moving away a little bit from, you know, the Bad Batch story and kind of including this bigger thing that's bigger than them. Yeah, I mean, not in, not in the show, well, kind of in the show too. It feels like, but you know, for the overall like the whole fate of the galaxy, you know, kind of mm-hmm. you definitely feel it. Um, so it's definitely, I'm glad that they went in this direction because, you know, we've gotten a lot of great characters now introduced over these past, you know, three seasons. Yeah. Um, So I'm definitely ha- pleased with it, with the direction that they're going. And I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see what's next. Like I said, I'm, you know, can next Wednesday hit already because I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> and like I was saying earlier, I'm, I'm wondering if the Pikes get involved in the season whatsoever and also at the same time i wonder if sid ends up oh yeah like we cross paths with sid at some point uh 
So that would be interesting. It would be very interesting. I, I feel like they got to, right? I mean, after – they can't just leave them off off of that bad note. I mean, she got to at least make I, I wonder if she redeems herself. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, that's a, a lot of Star Wars is redemption stories. So It is. <laughs> even if it's not, like, fully fleshed out, maybe she just does something that she knows – she knows she made a bad decision, and she's got to do something to to make it better. Because she was obviously, like, pretty ashamed of herself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can so, tell. Uh, so, everything's a redemption story, but I don't... <laughs> that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it is. You're not wrong. It is. <sighs> All right. Well, obviously, we're very excited for episode five. I'm already... I'm ready for next Wednesday. Yep. Bring it on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. All right. Uh, please go ahead on the channel. Check out the previous Bad Batch rea- reactions. And if you're interested in other Star Wars content, check out our channel for more as well. So we will see you next week for Bad Batch Episode 5. <laughs>